So check it out. It's Trevor James. I am in Hyderabad, India. We're going for a full-on food tour of the city. I'm so pumped. There's a lot of food to try. It's going to be amazing. Let's check it out. Hyderabad will blow you away. There's a strong Persian and Islamic influence throughout the whole city, which brings you some of the tastiest biryanis and Iranian chai, especially during Ramadan. You can explore the old city by foot and get immersed and lost in deep markets that offer insanely delicious food, and that's what it's all about. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Oh, okay. Thank you. I was super lucky to find this street side buttermilk curry vada, an Indian fritter loaded with fennel and spices and dipped in a light buttermilk curry. This is like a vada, which is like a deep fried fritter almost, packed, packed with spices. And this is in a light curry broth, curry sauce. Creamy and there's some yogurt on there. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. Whoa. Tasty. Yeah, really tasty. That's really nice. Nice? Very nice, yeah. Oh, it's so creamy. It's oh very good. Thank you. This is this is awesome. It's kind of like eating wet bread that's really flavorful. And that, that, that light sauce that it's in is so creamy. It's just slightly spicy. You can taste the curry leaves all throughout. Next thing you definitely have to eat here is the masala dosa. Usually found on the roadside tiffin snack stalls scattered throughout almost all cities in India. This is pure street food satisfaction. And you're gonna love the atmosphere of a dosa stall. With locals lined up and chowing down on dosas and steamed breakfast idli cakes. I came here for the masala dosa which is stuffed with boiled potatoes that are seasoned with mustard seeds and garnished with grated coconut, coriander, and lemon juice. You can even get it with cheese. It's grilled until it's crispy on the outside and soft and smooth on the inside. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, for me. Thank you. Oh, look at this. They give you that coconut chutney. Thank you, that's good. Oh, spice mix. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. The potato masala is packed with flavor. Yeah. We eat regularly turmeric, for example. We don't require medicine like antibiotics. So it's packed with turmeric. Lots of turmeric. Oh, it's so good. This is messy heaven. And this, oh, look, everyone's just adding that spice mix on top. It's very good. Next thing you've got to try is the high energy Hyderabad Halim, originating right here in Hyderabad. It's a super thick paste like stew made with goat meat, lentils, and pounded wheat. It's loaded with flavors from all the spices inside, like turmeric, garlic, cumin, caraway seeds, cinnamon, cardamom, cloves, saffron, pepper, allspice, and cashews. It's topped with an oily and spicy ghee based gravy, pieces of lime, coriander, and fried onions. And you have to have it during Ramadan, as it's meant to provide high energy for those breaking the fast at the end of the day. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, Halim, I've been dying to try this for so long. Look at this, Halim. Oh, it's so thick. There's like this light, I think that's like a light chili oil on top. Cashews, look at those, those crispy onions. Oh, it's gooey. It's gooey. Mmm. That I was not expecting. There's like this goat meat flavor that's infused throughout that sticky, like gooey stew. And I can taste so many spices like saffron, cardamom, cloves. And those crispy onions mixed with cashews on top make it unbelievably delicious. I was not expecting that. Exploring the old Hyderabad at Charminar is a must do. You can walk around the 400 year old mosque and get lost in ancient alleyways and markets and see what to eat. I found a famous bakery that baked everything in a huge stone oven, offering a huge selection of baked goods that entice all the locals to come for a bite and have a sip of that famous irani tea. 
As the biscuits come out tray after tray and the smells waft through the air, you can enjoy this traditional cuisine in an ultra picturesque setting. I am in Charminar, downtown Hyderabad. This area, check it out, right behind me, this is the main palace. This was built by the Sultan 400 years ago. This whole area was bustling with Irani influence, Persian trade. Yeah, and I've got a local Irani tea. This is what the locals, this is what the locals drink, right? Oh, I'm gonna try it out. Mm. Oh. It tastes like almost like really sweet condensed milk. And oh, it's so smooth, like a, a little vanilla flavor. Mmm. And this right here, this is the specialty. This is like a moon a moon biscuit, right? Moon. Moon biscuit. Moon biscuit. Very famous. Oh, I taste like a deep saffron flavor in there. Oh, it's crunchy. Oh, just a nice crunchy biscuit with that deep saffron flavor. Mm. And the locals are so friendly in India. I've had nothing but good experiences. People really go out of their way to make sure you're having a good time in their country. Next thing we gotta try here in Hyderabad is mutton biryani. So the bottom floor here is like a tea shop full of locals eating biryani. And the top floor is where it's at. Wow, it's so busy here. Oh. Finely chopped mutton with green chilies, tomato, and Indian spices. Deep fried mutton with green chilies. Oh, it's crispy. Listen to that crisp. Pakistani chicken specialty. Pakistani chicken specialty. Oh, it's a thick green gravy. With cashews. With cashews. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Mutton biryani. Is there mutton in there? Oh, big mutton chunks. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Um, I have my Irani tea. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So I have a huge Southern Indian feast here in Hyderabad. This is what my dreams are made of. This is mutton heaven. And I am just so excited to be here right now. So first thing I want to try here is this mutton biryani mixed with mutton rogan josh. Oh. Oh, there's so much thick mutton in there. That's gonna be a bite. Mmm. That mutton biryani is packed with flavor. There's so many spices in there. Cardamom, star anise, cinnamon, cloves. It's like an explosion in your mouth. Mixed with the mutton rogan josh. Oh, it's just so smooth and creamy. And that spice just brings you to the next level. I've had two 10 out of 10 meals here in India so far, and I'm blown away by the array of flavors that you can experience in one setting. The food here in Hyderabad will leave you speechless. Just walking up to the stairs to this unassuming restaurant, you definitely won't expect food like this, but when the first flavors hit you, you just can't stop eating. And you wanna keep eating even after you're beyond full. It's that good. Washing it all down with a thick and super sweet Irani tea just puts you in the setting for this delicious food. You will leave satisfied. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Click that thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. I'm finding Hyderabad to be so amazing. Delicious food and the friendliest locals ever. So please let me know what you thought down below. I'm going to Mumbai next. I'm going to try the local food there. I'm so pumped. Thanks again. Please click that like button right now. Leave me a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again.